A court in Bangladesh has ordered police to bring a detained prominent journalist to hospital for treatment. Uh, photo, photo, photographer and journalist Shah Hidul Alam was arrested after an interview with Al Jazeera on Sunday. His family says he's been tortured. Human Rights Watch wants the government to investigate reports that he was beaten in jail. Students have been demonstrating for nine days for tougher traffic laws. Joining us live now from Dhaka is the Bangladeshi Information Minister, Hassanul Haq Inu. Minister, can you promise us that this uh, reporter, this photographer, journalist, will indeed today go from, in effect, court slash police custody to a hospital? Well, uh, Shahidul Alam uh, is a renowned uh, a photographer and uh, runs a, a gallery of photography. Uh, he has been picked up by the police, is a fact and a correct story. Uh, but uh, 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 the other uh, part is that uh, he has been taken to the hospital, but I don't think so. He has been beaten up in the custody. But our law says that if he is beaten in the custody, the responsible police officer will be uh, prosecuted. Does that we mean that he'll be? Act, does that act, mean act, he'll act, be in a hospital act. today or not? Well, uh, I'll have to check with the uh, you know, Home Ministry. Uh, I cannot exactly give you the details, but uh, if there is a court order, then uh, the government will uh, uh, comply with the court orders. Does your country, and do you as an individual, believe but, uh, in a free press? That, uh, just let me finish the point, sir, if I may. Do you believe in a free press? Because looking at the tapes, this man was doing nothing wrong. He was standing at a distance. He was photographing the teenage protesters. That was the only thing he was doing. Yes, sir. The press, uh, press in Bangladesh is totally free. But as you know, the journalists... Uh, Professional hazard is that when there is a clash going on in a particular area or uh, in a, any plus place of the world, uh, sometimes the uh, protesters or the uh, they are for or against whatever it is, sometimes the journalists are victimized. But he is not part of the government plan. Uh, the police cannot beat a journalist uh, because we have a clear instruction that the journalists should work independently in for their professional independence. So beating up a journalist is condemned by uh, the government. I personally yesterday issued a statement condemning the beating up of the journalist and I wrote an official letter to the Home Minister, uh, the Security Minister to bring those persons responsible for beating up the journalist to court and uh, justice. Given that Bangladeshi social media, will, uh, given that Bangladeshi uh, social media is, as of now, flooded with images of how your security authorities have been mishandling this, because that's the central allegation, has there been a point in the past week or ten days when you feel the government could have handled this better? Well, uh, if you look at the uh, children's movement of uh, safe roads, uh, that has been uh, clearly uh, handled in a very amicable manner. manner. Our Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina clearly instructed the law uh, enforcing agencies to take care of the children. And if you look into the details of the first five days, there is no such incident on the roads. The children were there, the police were protecting them helping them to check the vehicles, but at the fag end, when the agreement was done, uh, the demands were met and the government has started executing the demands, then at the fag end, certain vested quarters tried, tried to uh, divert the movement uh, for political personal interest. But that is min minister, how, minister, you're being, uh, you're being the, slightly disingenuous the there, are you not? Just to interrupt uh, you again, are sir. Yeah. You are being slightly disingenuous there because the reality of the situation is this. You had a spontaneous, leaderless movement calling for better road safety being enacted or in, uh, framing it in terms of legislation because two people were killed by a speeding bus. That's an established fact. But what happened then was one of your government ministers reacted to that and said, well, if this was in India, it wouldn't be a problem and no one would react to it. But he was a family relative of the person who runs the bus company. So then the protesters felt they had to carry on protesting, not so much against traffic legislation and traffic deaths on the road, demonstrating against the government.
Hello, I cannot. Hello, 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 Minister. Can you hear us? Hello, I don't. Okay, I I got my uh, uh, yes yes. Now I can hear. Uh, let me answer this question. Yes, uh, the fact is, my colleague, the Minister Shadan Khan, did uh, a, a smile uh, reacting to the killing of the children by bus, and uh, immediately the next day he was ordered to say sorry, and he said sorry uh, for that publicly, and went to the children's house and uh, uh, condol to give condolences to the family. So uh, the point is that uh, the children asked for a, a sorry and the minister said sorry and that has been settled up. So the, the government then concentrated on the nine demands raised by the children for road safety and we think they are very genuine demands and the prime minister did agree to comply and execute all the demands. So the children had no confrontation with the police forces. There are sporadic incidents on the fifth day in certain parts of Dhaka, as far as I remember, in three parts. One is in front of the uh, ruling party's Awamalik's office. So there is this confrontation. Confrontation is not. This confrontation uh, is not against the children. It is a sporadic. A, 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 a confrontation incited by a certain vested quarters where a few students may be injured. But as far my report goes, the, the, the persons who have been a, a injured, this side or that side, all have been released after giving first aid. Okay, I don't particularly want to get into a conversation about who you think may or may not actually be behind this, but I'm just going to read you a direct quote here from the Asian Human Rights Commission accusing your government of hiding the actual death toll from the original bus accident because the government behind closed doors took a, a quality judgment here. You wanted to shut it down because you felt the need, the pressure to react to a situation that you, and I'll use the word again, you mishandled it from day one. I don't think so. It was a large movement by the children. The government never misunderstood it. The, the, all the children are happy. They went back to the schools. And uh, the allegation of handling, mishandling the situation, I think, is not uh, 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 to the facts. To the facts, uh, because all the children are now in the schools and they are happy. And the government is executing their demands. One last final point, Minister. In about thirty seconds, and can you react you can to? Can yes. you react to for us one last claim? Over the last several months, numerous incidents where peaceful uh, protesters, because they're also angry about the quota system that exists in your country, yes or no, have they been beaten up? Yes or no? Yes, uh, the, there is a question of quota system. The Minister, I've got to matter. stop you there. We're all yes. out of time, but thank you so much for your company. You're watching Al Jazeera.